Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Bolt Mouth video. So, this is kind of an impromptu video. I'm going to again that I recently bought, not through Steam, I got it through King, that uh, King Win, and and it's the Steam K4 game that's just been released. Uh, released by 2K Games um, and Gearbox Software. I'm obviously talking about Battleborn. Now, there are some issues with Battleborn. Some very big issues indeed. The game seems to be running poorly across the board. Um, I personally, on my rig, which I've had to, which I had to upgrade last week, and I'll give you specs in a minute for that. I'm getting frame rates of five to ten FPS. Now, my computer is no slouch. My computer is actually kind of like mid to high range, I believe, for the specs that I've got in it. It's quite an enthusiast grade platform which I'm running on. And getting, you know, going through Steam forums, going through the gear, um, Gearbox, since they're the developer, going through their forums as well. People, Lots of people are having the same problems. And it's not just on the AMD side as well, it's the Nvidia side. So people are having problems with 980s, 980Ti's, 970s, 960s, and on AMD side, all range, obviously. Uh, the game does incorporate physics, the physics sort of engine, well, Unreal Engine using physics by NVIDIA, so ob obviously it's going to be more optimised to NVIDIA. We're used to this as AMD users, we get screwed out normally, but normally I'm able to turn that off. Uh, I've turned that off in the I and I fails for Battleborn. No change, no change in frame rate, no change in performance. By the way, all the settings are on low as well. So I, I would be at least I'm on. I don't even care if it's running at 60 hertz at this point, at 60 fps. I'll be happy with 30 as long as it's smoothish. But no, it's running at 5 to 10 fps. Now I got in touch with. Uh, I went through Gearbox support, and first message I got back, a few questions that they asked me. What error code are you getting? Well, I'm not getting an error code, and if you read my message, you would know what the problem is. Secondly, do I have a PlayStation Live Plus account or an Xbox Live account? Why does that matter on a PC game? By the way, I put the I put the request as PC, not Xbox Live, not PlayStation, PC, and they're asking me for that, and then they want me to send them footage of the of what's happening. I'm getting five, if not explained, I'm getting five to ten FPS throughout the entire thing, online, single player. Now, I could excuse online actually, if you know, it was a bit janky due to, you know, servers being a bit overwhelmed, so it's a bit slower. I could live with that, I could live with that for quite a while. But the fact that even on single player, I'm having issues, it might have something to do with the connection issues with it because. It belooks of it when you're playing single player, it needs to still load up online. So you still play it online with it. It might be that. Idiots thinking putting single player online, that's just insane. Um, but I'm actually dismayed because I sent a reply back saying, Look, all I want to know, have you got a fix that I can use which will get it up to that? Or are you working on a patch? And if so, whenabouts will it be released? Because by the way, this game is in a kind of a state of limbo at the moment due to yeah it's got a good player base at the moment it's got you know a couple of thousand players here and there constantly on um, but you've got Overwatch coming out and it's been compared to Overwatch unfairly because the two are very different games but I think it and helps with 2K's marketing on that so if Overwatch comes out and by the way Overwatch works on all platforms AMD, Nvidia, fine Blizzard, good job there. Played, been playing the beta of that, loving it. But I thought, you know what, I'll get this one. I'm going to put my money online. I like the idea of Battleborn more. I like the idea of a more mobile type experience. I like uh, PvP mixed with PvE. I'll put my money down on that. I get screwed now because it isn't optimised. No news of any patches, no updates on the forums from Gearbox. 
On 2K forums, nothing there whatsoever. It's like a barren wasteland. So, as you can tell, I'm a little bit miffed. Um, it's, I think it's been released too early. They wanted to get it out before Overwatch to try and get that early adopted before Overwatch, Overwatch comes out at the end of the month. And they released it in a sorry, sorry state. I'm disappointed in Gearbox and 2K because normally their games work fine on my on PC. I've found apart from Illus Columbus, but that's more Gearbox and Sega problem there uh, being lighter. up. But I mean, people saying, "Oh, I've got to say I'm problems with Borderlands." Well, I didn't. I haven't noticed any problems before. This is the first time. Well, second time that I've ever had this problem. First time I had this problem was back in, I think about 1999, 2000 area-ish, when I bought a game called Project IGI. Now, I was running a, I had a graphics card, and I had to get a 3D, and I was running a 3D accelerator at the time, because that's how it was. Um, it wasn't really compatible with them at the time, so I had, so I had to delve into the all-in-one GPU, which contains your 3D accelerator as well as that which uh, I think it was really early GeForce which was about 100 quid it was a very cheap one at the time which I got but didn't really solve the issue with that ran poorly but this is the second time that I've had this in my life so gearbox if you ego surfing if you ego surfing whatever fix your shit release a patch or because you know it's not working for a lot of people take it off the marketplace like Batman Arkham Knight until you fix it because people are going to be buying this game and not everyone's going to know to check the forums take it off Steam put it back on when it's fixed and give us a, like, a little bit of patch or a little tweak that will work I have followed every single patch disabling physics putting everything on false pretty much um, messing with the I, &I files still nothing take this game down and leave it. Leave it until it's finished. Do a bit more work. Nobody's going to care. People who want to play this game will still play on this game. And you've got your player base of people who can play this game well. You've got that there. But your game is broken. It bugs out like hell. And, sing and on single player it's unacceptable as well. Because you have to go through the prologue even play multiplayer and on multiplayer on mine <laughs> I'm getting a black screen with loads of random artifacts in everywhere whenever any any sort of character is in line of sight the only way that I can actually see the environment is if I look at the floor your game's a mess fix it and everything will be fine obviously I can't get a, I can't get a refund list because I didn't get it through Steam I got it through Kingwin they don't really have a refund policy on it because I bought, bought a key but fix your shit, <clears throat> please. And yeah, and if anyone else is having a problem and has found the fix, please, I beg you, put it in that comment section below. And anyway, I've been Bullet Marv. And as I say at the end of every video, keep on gaming. Unless you're an AMD user, one, or you know, you've got a random graphics card then playing Battleborn, you can't keep on gaming.